From Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2104, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, February 28th, 2018. The controversial issue of distracted driving laws on ham radio can be a particularly murky area, even more so when it comes to hams traveling outside their home territories. An amateur radio newsline report several weeks ago noted that U.S. hams wishing to operate mobile while behind the wheel in New Brunswick, Canada would be breaking the law. While a reciprocal treaty for radio operators does exist between the U.S. and Canada, a tangle of local regulations has caused much confusion and appears to supersede this treaty. Distracted driving regulations have been imposed by state and provincial governments in both the U.S. and Canada. Individual amateurs and groups have lobbied their own localities for exemptions for amateur radio operation. Where such exemptions for radio exist, language in many of those regulations only allow for mobile operation by amateur radio operators provided they are licensed residents of that country. Newsline has not been able to find any instances of an American amateur being cited in the provincial distracted driving regulations. Conversely, distracted driving regulations in Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Illinois, Nevada, New York, Oregon, Washington, and West Virginia require an FCC license for legal mobile amateur operation. Only the state of New Jersey generically specifies licensed amateur radio operators may operate mobile. Thus, for a Canadian amateur radio licensee to operate mobile in the U.S. would require that those operators also hold a valid FCC license. Amateurs in either country need to research the distracted driving regulation in the state or province they plan to operate in and be prepared to defend a moving citation. Reporting for Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Kent Peterson, KC0 DGY. And the controversy isn't limited to the U.S. and Canada. In Sweden, the SSA, the country's national amateur radio organization, recently asked the government to revisit legislation that bans the use of mobile phones whilst driving. The radio group is hoping to clarify the wording, which it fears may impact on hams operating mobile in their vehicles as well as on those in the transport industry. The group is asking in its letter to the Ministry of Food and Transport that the wording make it clear that the ban is not applicable to handheld microphones attached to radios mounted in Inside the vehicles. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jeremy Boot, G4NJH. The amateur radio community has suffered yet another major loss. A ham with a prominent role among Australian amateurs has passed on. Jim Linton, VK3PC, a mainstay of the Wireless Institute of Australia, which he served as Executive Secretary, has become a silent key. He died on Thursday, the 22nd of February, following a short battle with thyroid cancer. Jim, who was one of the WIA's longest-serving office holders, joined the organisation as a teenager and an enthusiastic shortwave listener. A career journalist with 3UZ's Nielsen Broadcasting Services and later AAP News Agency and various trade magazines, he became a senior newsman covering the major stories of the day. His active life in amateur radio included the presidency of WIA Victoria, WIA Federal Councillor, news editor of Amateur Radio Magazine and guest editor, as well as an honorary life member of the WIA, Jim received their highest honour in 2011, the GA Taylor Medal. Jim was age 71. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Robert Broomhead, VK3DN. A reminder that the 2018 nominating period for the Bill Pasternak WA6ITF Amateur Radio Newsline Young Ham of the Year Award opens March 1st. Full information and the nominating form can be found on our website, www.arnewsline.org, under the YHOTY tab at the top of the page. And for the rest of this week's Amateur Radio News, please listen to the full Amateur Radio Newsline report online on a repeater near you or on shortwave radio station WTWW at 9930 and 5085 kilohertz. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at www.arnewsline.org. With Kent Peterson, KC0DGY, Jeremy Boot, G4NJH, Robert Broomhead, VK3DN, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW. 7-3, we'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.